scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and called all his sorcerers and said, I need the meaning of this dream. And when he was angry that they could not interpret the dream, he said, go and kill them. And Daniel said, no, not so. Don't be hasty. Give me time. Hallelujah. Give me time and the interpretation will come. And the Bible says, then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. And in the description of what Daniel saw, he saw an entity made of the head of gold. I'm just rushing so that we'll get to the core of the teaching. The head was made of gold, right? The chest was made of silver. Is that true? From the stomach region down to the thigh, it was made of bronze. And then he began to describe that the feet was a mixture of, of iron. You know, it, the, the legs were iron and then the feet was both iron and clay. Now, it was a revelation of different dispensations. That would come and Daniel began to speak to the king that dispensations will begin to come it was it was a revelation of different appearances of the structure of this Babylon a godless system hallelujah but then let me just recap a bit to help us understand the Bible makes us to understand that a lot happened in the Garden of Eden hallelujah I know that we know about the old story i've shared it again and again here but maybe for the benefit of those who have not been here for a long time let me just recap again how that the story between mankind and the devil and darkness is an ancient story is that true and i did tell us how that satan is not the opposite of god it's important for us to understand this because what we call eternity is the summation of infinite dispensations is that true and that there was a dispensation where satan did not exist is that true satan was created out of the predeterminate wisdom of god there was a dispensation in time where he did not exist hallelujah job 38 begins to give us um a lot of 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 revelations when god was speaking with job now when satan came on board i told you that the office of satan in heaven was what the custodian the name satan is not the name of an entity the name satan satan means accuser right and devil means what deceiver so he said you shall cast out devils it's not the name of a person it's a generic name praise the lord and then the bible makes us to understand how that um, this being was created and according to the order of his fashion because your office in heaven determines both your instrument of creation right and the kind of service you are going to bring and so lucifer was meticulously created using sound piped stringed instruments and i hope you realize that Lucifer's jurisdiction of operation was the Garden of Eden. Remember? I told you the Garden of Eden was not created for Adam. The Garden of Eden existed long before Adam. Are we there? 
Lucifer was in the garden of Eden. The very garden of Eden was his habitation. And the garden of Eden was not in the earth. I hope you know. It's still intact. There, there are different planes of heaven as we are taught in the Bible. The heaven of heavens is where God dwells. But there are many other planes. Those planes are still existent today. Is that true? Are we following now? I just want us to get the background so that we will understand this concept. You see, when you understand this, there are certain levels of spiritual authority you will stand upon. It will no longer be a guesswork or trying to jack yourself into their reality. Light has brought you into that truth. Some things no longer will exist because you have found something that is true. Are we following now? And so, on the strength of Lucifer's office, being the light bearer, he had access to the presence of God. And let me say it again, I'm just doing a recap. I've taught us how that angels grow by what? Excelling in light. Is that true? That's how you measure the age. In the realm of the spirit, we don't age like time. There is no time. So you measure the age of spirit beings by how much they've had access to the throne room. Because every time you meet God, there is an emission, a rub off of his glory upon you. Right? And even in heaven, you do not visit the throne room every time. Because even at that realm, the glory of God is too strong for you to come and stay there. Access is granted unto you. Hmm. Praise the Lord. And so, because of Lucifer's function, Lucifer means the light bearer. The custodian of the revelations of the heavens. He had unusual access to the presence of God. And it increased his beauty and his light. Even among the cherubims. Right? He was the most valued. Because you see, before man was created, the order of heaven is the trinity. Now the father, the son and the holy spirit. But he was not called father. I hope you know he only became father when Jesus became son. Is that true? So he was not called Father, God Almighty. Jesus was called the Word. His name still is the Word. Hallelujah. And then the Spirit of God. So the organization was God. Now, as we know, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We have the angelic Kedah, right? And then the head of the angels are the seraphs. The head of the seraphs are the cherubims. And the head of the cherubims was God. So directly after the cherubims, I mean God was the cherubims. Are you seeing that? So that access. But now when God created man, what happened? He took man, making him equal, right? With himself. The order changed. So now the head of the seraphs is the cherubim. The head of the cherubim is the woman. The head of the woman is the man. And the head of man is God. Christ. Now and the head of Christ is God. This is the structure. Are you getting the point now? When you understand the proximity between the cherubims and women, you will know why many women are under the influence of strong spirits. Hallelujah. That's, that's for another teaching. You, you, see, you see that they seem to be the most vulnerable. There is a reason. It's not just because they are ladies. get the teachings they are all available praise the lord and so this rebellion was led watch this the bible begins to tell us in ezekiel um, 28 and isaiah 14 the manifesto of satan he said i will exalt myself above the stars of god right he says i will be like the most high that's what he said what do you think would have given satan audacity to want to replace god to be equal with God means to be a partaker of his nature. To be equal to God means you can replace him. That's what Lucifer wanted. Are you, are you understanding my story? And so he mobilized a lot of the angels in heaven. Apollyon, Leviathan, Baal, Mammon. All these were spirits. Mobilized them in a rebellion to fight. I'm, I'm just doing a quick recap. There's, there are teachings already on that. And for them to fight, they needed to change their original estate. That's what the Bible says. Original estate means your default position of creation. Because in heaven, 
um, how many of you have seen uh, maybe doctors when they are going for surgery they put on their lab coat right there is an attire they wear because of their function that's how it is in heaven you don't wear clothes like this uh -uh. The, the garments in heaven change according to what you are doing so if you are going to the throne room you wear a garment called praise it's not just a song it's a garment the psalmist saw it right <laughs> he said he will give you a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness is that true and so for these spirits to carry out their treason they needed to leave their original state of creation so that they will assume a structure that will be able to afford them that which happened and this was shown to john in the isle of patmos he said there was war in heaven and what happened lucifer that rebellious entity attempting to fight because he had known all the mysteries of god by reason of being the custodian of the mysteries and he said if this is all god is then i've read everything I know every possibility that can be in God. Are you getting my point? And when there was that fight, the Bible says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth when he prevailed not. Remember? Revelations. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth for the devil, that old serpent has been cast down and he comes with anger and great fury. Now, the meaning of that is this. When it was obvious that Satan and his cohort, a third of the angels, the Bible tells us, would not prevail. In their bid to run back to their original estate, they were trapped from the heavenlies. Are you getting me? Never to be like they were again. And never to be like mankind. So by default, the devil and all his entities are in a perpetual state of torture. Aside from anything. So they cannot be in a state of rest. Are you getting what I'm saying? It is, it is in the character of darkness to run to and fro. The book of Job. When he asked him, he said, from whence comes that? What did he say? Running to and fro. Jesus gave us a revelation that when a spirit leaves a man, what happens? That means if they can find expression in human vessels on the strength of the fact that man is the highest of God's creation, they can assume some position of rest. Are you getting what I'm saying? And so Lucifer led that rebellion. And when it did not happen, he was cast down to the earth. Watch this. And something happened. Because you see, perfect love cast out fear. And if God is love for casting Lucifer, he must justify the fact that he was not insecure. And so he created man and gave man everything to prove that it was not because he was afraid like a politician fighting his rival. Are you getting him? Are you getting the story now? So he created man. Angels were created from light. But man was made from the dust of the earth. And the Bible says God took his very cupboard. That image, what Satan died fighting for and put in the man. My goodness. And then he made him in charge of everything. When that was happening... Lucifer was watching. Hey, Lucifer was not somewhere moving around. Lucifer had access to watch. He saw the creation of man. Are you getting what I'm saying? And when he saw man, he saw God authorize him and give him the seat of dominion. And then, in Eden, Lucifer's very habitation, that was where man was kept. Are you seeing that it's an old story? You just know that something happened. Your father got up in the morning. One leg could not move. It's an old story. It's, it's not just the issue of healing anointing. It's about understanding the agenda of God. And let me tell you, when you know this, you will do more miracles unconsciously. Because there is a light from you that will emit everywhere you go. You become a true advocate of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you following me now? And so Lucifer, in that situation, came and started beguiling man. And I told you that what happened in the Garden of Eden was a foreshadowing of redemption. Is that true? 
because the bible tells us that authority was given to adam the man is that true but eve was made out of his nature so she was a partaker of the man's nature are you getting the point now and so when that happened they had dominion together satan ultimately wanted to take off the dominion and the only way he would take off the dominion watch this if god created man in his image right and put that man as the highest of his creation then it means if that man bows to satan what is he saying in essence if i am equal with christ and i bow to you i have accepted that satan is greater than him are you getting the whole dynamics of what happened in the garden and so for him to do that he came through woman watch this i want to explain to you a very powerful mystery please follow me adam did not fall by mistake first peter tells us it was the woman who was deceived not the man let me tell you why adam fell adam fell because according to god's system of love you have to love unto death to prove that you love are you getting what i'm saying husbands love your wife as christ loved the church now that the woman had fallen the man had to follow her because of love that's why for jesus to redeem us he needed to come down and be like us the same way adam left his estate to be like his wife are you following me now are you getting the whole thing so adam was not deceived when he fell immediately god looked from the heavens and saw the throne that he put man upon empty and when he saw that throne it was on account of that he said adam where are you he wasn't just saying adam are you naked what happened now you don't you know you're an adult that's not what he was saying hallelujah he saw the throne it was a spiritual position of dominion and when he saw it he said adam where are you adam said i had to follow this woman and god did not rebuke him because that was a true picture of love and he said woman what have you done she said the serpent satan was very careful to hear the prophecies that will now come out of the mouth of god and he said this and that will happen and he said the seed will bruise your head now understand that satan has known that god is prophetic in his statements the meaning of that was a confusion to him because until man came reproduction had never happened only creation they never knew that it was possible for a man to meet a woman all of a sudden satan saw me um i said mary um eve <laughs> getting pregnant and then she gives birth to cain and satan says this is amazing thinking cain was the seed of the woman that was prophesied he entered into cain are you seeing that then he saw that man can still get a woman pregnant again and gave birth to abel and he made cain kill abel are you following me now Genesis chapter 5. I want to show you the origin of the system of Babylon. That's why we are saying all of this. In the highest, let our king be eternal. Oh, Jesus, you be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher, be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted higher, higher, be lifted higher. Sorry, 4. 4 verse 16. Watch this. Cain, that rebel, Cain did not even know what happened to him. The devil found expression in him. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because he needed to continue that agenda. And watch this. This is the origin. From verse 16, it's projected. Read, one to read. And Cain did what? Stop what does it mean to go out of the presence of the lord it doesn't mean to run away from him it means to depart willfully from his governing authority cain said god as far as me and you are concerned i i refuse your headship over my life and satan said this is exactly what i want are you getting the point now cain 
departed from the presence of God and he went and dwelled in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. 17. And Cain knew his wife and she conceived and bare Enoch. He had a son. And he did what? Built a city. Watch this. Because the pride of any king, kings named cities after their sons and so on and so forth, representing their future. This was the manifestation of the spirit of the Antichrist. He built a city and he called the name of that city Enoch after his son. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now from this city, Christ or God as we know was not the head of this city. It was a city of rebellion. Are you getting what I'm saying? All kinds of human atrocities began to happen. Anger, envy, killing, rivalry. It was, an, it was the government of Satan. The first manifestation of the government of Satan that our dispensation records started from Cain. Are you getting this now? And the Bible says, the moment that happened, we see the first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah in the Bible. It came in the person of Noah. Are you getting what I'm saying? The spirit of Elijah is not a person. It's not a prophetic spirit. It's the spirit that restores men to the ordinances of God. Because he said, every time a revival is about to happen in the earth, there is a spiritual pattern. Elijah must show up. Is that true? When, when, when there was darkness all around, Elijah the Tishbite showed up, right? Micah, Malachi chapter 4 tells us before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Is that true? Before Jesus showed up, who came? Elijah. In John came in the spirit and the power of Elijah. Now, this Babylon, the spirit of Babylon is a governmental system. It's a system that is hungry for power and sovereignty and allegiance. Please understand this. That is the reason why Babylon oftentimes would operate with kings. Notice that Jezebel married Ahab the king. The same spirit of Jezebel reemerges in Herodias, making sure the original wife of the king dies. And then Jezebel in Herodias marries the king. Is that true? Herod in your Bible and then demands for the head of John the Baptist. What do you do with the head of a man? In continuation to the vow Jezebel made to Elijah that I will remove your head. After many years, human beings change, but the agenda is still the same. Are you getting what I'm saying? Hmm. So, Noah was the first manifestation of of a true son of God and, and, and I've told you again and again that the concept of the sons of God did not start in the New Testament, right? We see in the book of Job 38, sons of God. Man was not even made. That was during the creation of heavens. The sons of God were rejoicing. It's an office in heaven. sense the power of God very strongly. Are you following me now? Let's see how far we can go. Noah came. What was the instruction? He said, Noah, the earth has become wicked. I need to judge it. He said, build an ark. Theologically speaking, the ark was the, the size of three stadia, three large stadiums, right? Three story buildings made of gopher wood. Noah spent 120 years of earth's time building that. He committed his entire life to build the ark. And when that happened, Noah, his wife, the three sons and their wives entered in. And what happened? There was judgment. Is that true? The whole race was white. And out of eight people, the spirit of the Antichrist, still testing for the continuation of the agenda. What happened? The Bible says Noah drank wine. And he was drunk. And then one of his sons saw his nakedness. I've said it again. That is a coded language. That is more than just seeing a man's nakedness. Don't parents take their, don't children take their parents to the hospital? Don't they bath them? What is it about seeing a man's nakedness that would demand such a cause? It was more than that. It was not just looking at a man's nakedness. There were mysteries that were given Noah. 
it was that mystery the spirit of the antichrist entered one of the sons and made sure he peeped into those mysteries because satan does not know the future i hope you realize that it's because he did not know the future that's why they killed many people during moses time if he knew he would look for moses exactly and kill satan is not so accurate you see the goal of this is to demystify this guy that has threatened the nations because speaking he said O king of tyre he said thou which subdued the nations the strength of evil is deception 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 nations can be deceived and if we are to be ambassadors we must understand which gives us that which gives us strength in this day and this age if you're following me say amen after the judgment of Noah out of the eight people, Satan found expression in one and wickedness grew. Watch this. Genesis 11 verse 1. We see the continuation of that agenda of the Antichrist system. In the first man who originated what we have come to know today to be witchcraft and occultism. He said, and the whole earth was of one language and one speech. Verse 2. And it came to pass, this and that, the land of China. Verse 3. And talking about Nimrod now. Nimrod Kush. That man, Nimrod. Have you read about him? Nimrod, the son of Kush. Now, theologically speaking, Nimrod killed his father, Kush, and married his mother, Semiramai. And today, she's the one that is worshipped in many sects as the queen of heaven. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Antichrist entered into Nimrod, a governmental system. See it again. And he said, Come, go to let us what? Build a city. Notice that every time that spirit manifests, it seeks to build a city. A godless governmental system that can authorize the activity of darkness in a way to mock God. And brothers and sisters, let me tell you, everything that has happened from Genesis 11 until Jesus came was different ways and strategies for the devil to make sure that this agenda of darkness. So the Antichrist system is not just a system of witchcraft. It's not just a system of perversion. It's a system that seeks to transfer the allegiance of humanity to any other entity outside of God. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying now? This is a very powerful teaching. If you do not understand this, you, you will be in for a root shock and you will not have the intelligence to confront the things around your life and to walk in victory. Watch this. When Jesus came, when Jesus came, what happened? Matthew chapter 4, from verse 4. Satan, when he finished fasting, I hope you realize that all Satan had been doing. Do you know the reason why every nation fought Israel? Because of that prophecy, the seed will bruise the head of the serpent. The moment God entered a covenant with Israel, they became the enemies of everybody. Because he had given them a clue that the seed must come out from that. Are you getting the whole thing? It wasn't just because Israelites were wicked people. No. The moment they became a covenant people, when John the Baptist came into the scene, what happened? The spirit of the Antichrist started moving the scribes to ask, are you the Christ? He wanted to know, are you the Christ? And John kept confusing them. He said, I'm the voice of one. He said, who are you? Are you the Christ? Don't confuse us. He said, I'm the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Repent. The moment John said, this is my, he said, behold the lamb. When he mentioned that from that time, watch this. Jesus became the enemy of the scribes, the Pharisees, and everybody. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now, um, Matthew chapter 4. When he took him, he said, man shall not live by bread. That's, he told him, turn this stone into bread, right? Temptation number 2. He took him to a pinnacle in the temple and he said, jump. Jump. Many of us would have jumped and died. Because we always like proving we are anointed. <laughs> He would have jumped and died. That would have been it. Case closed. No redemption. Verse. Next. Now watch this. Watch this. Verse 6 please. 
Let's go to verse 6. Or 7, 7. I'm looking for the third temptation. Uh, okay, 8. Let's look at 8. Okay. It says again, watch this. It says the devil takes who? Jesus, your Jesus. Satan told him, follow me. And Jesus went. It's in your Bible. Why? Because he had the keys of dominion. The very key of Adam was in his hands. And God had to respect it. He said, he took him to a high mountain. Where is this mountain in the earth today? That when you stand upon, you will see the glories of the world. It was a spiritual thing here. It was not just a, which of the mountains do you stand? He says, Satan took him into, not upon, into. He entered somewhere. It's in your Bible. He took him into a high mountain and showed him the kingdoms of this world and the glory of them. He said, it is mine. I know that you want this. Satan revealed there to us the strategy of the advancement of the Antichrist system. Watch this. This is how Satan markets it. In that mountain, there is wealth. In that mountain, there is job without struggle. In that mountain, there is free marriage without toasting. Look up, please. Are you getting what I'm saying? And he said, he took him up to that mountain and he showed him the glory. So watch this. Satan never tells you what you are to do. He first shows you what you will get so that it becomes difficult to say no. This is what he did to Jesus. He took him there and showed him everything. And then verse 9. And said unto him, all these things I will give thee. Meaning it was within his power to give anybody. Is it true? <laughs> it says, if thou will what? If thou will what? Are you seeing that? That was all. So it's not about money. It's not about cancer. It's not about HIV. It's about allegiance. It's not about witchcraft in your family. It's not about refusing the church from growing. It's not about stopping you from passing jam. It's bigger than that. Satan does not need all those things. It's not about demons oppressing you. There is a bigger story. If you don't understand, you will sit down in spiritual myopia, fighting all kinds of things. Here's the key. If thou will fall down and worship me, the Bible says the same spirit operated in Nebuchadnezzar and he built 90 feet of solid gold. Is that true? And he said, the moment you hear music, everybody do what? Bow. Now, the goal is this. Satan does not want you to bow down directly to him because he, is, he was the God of this system. Watch this. He said, bow down to anything that is not God. It's still the same thing you are doing. Bow down to money. Bow down to women. Bow down to your uncle. It's still the same thing. Are you understanding the, the structure of the Antichrist system? So, the Antichrist system is not just the system of occultism and witchcraft. It's the system that brings your life under compulsion to an allegiance to any other thing outside of the Christ. And there is a way that happens. Are you getting blessed, please? Jesus was eventually going to take back the kingdom take back the keys but satan said why follow the long route we can negotiate and i can make this thing easy for you why go through all of this this thing just bow down and have it right why spend years and 10 years and, and almost die building a bungalow bow down to me and own estates that's why the bible says what shall it profit a man have you read it in your bible if he does what that means you can do business with your soul the question is, who is buying it? You are the one selling it. Who is buying it? What shall it profit you if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? That means you sell your soul. The question is to who? Who is this person that can buy and do business with souls? Revelations 18. Let me show you. We have most high 
I hail you most high. Revelations 18. Let me read very quickly. Watch this. It's going to be a long reading, verse 1. Revelations 18, verse 1. Are you there? And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was made bright with his glory. And he cried with a mighty voice, saying, What? Babylon is Babylon the Great is fallen. It says, and it's become the habitation of demons and the hold of every foul spirit and a cage for every unclean beast. Watch this mystery. Verse 3. Let's see if media can help us. If you are fast enough to help us, then fine. Otherwise, I'll just go back to my Bible. For all nations have done what? Have drunk the wine of the wrath of her fornication. That's why you see women representing that system. Jezebel, Babylon. When they meet prospective kings, when they meet talented people like a harlot comes to a man, they come seeking a fraternity. Bow down to me, fraternize with me, and I will open the gates of the kingdom. I will open the gates of wealth. I will open the gates of grace. Are you getting what I'm saying? He says, and the kings of the earth have done what? Committed fornication with her. And the merchandise of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies. She made them rich. She made the man a governor. She made the man a president. Voting or no voting? Huh? She made them celebrity stars on TV. Took them from rags to riches. Babylon the Great. Are you getting what I'm saying? When you understand this, you find out that nothing happens in the system until your allegiance to a deity is confirmed. That story of right, nobody rises up from nowhere is a lie. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a spiritual dimension to everything in life. When you see somebody just get up, travels out of the country and comes back and becomes a millionaire, the Bible says, ah, okay, we're in verse 4. The Bible says in verse 3 that the kings committed fornication with her. Let's run to verse 9. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived luxuriously shall bewail her and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning. So there is a prophecy. The antichrist system will crumble. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Already there is a prophecy ahead. That anyone that fraternizes with this system will join them. Babylon is falling. That was a prophecy. The system of the antichrist will be crumbled. And there is an entity that will make that happen. The name of that entity is called the church. This is why I'm teaching you what we're teaching. The church is not an institution. The church is the name of the spiritual entity that will crumble this system. Verse 10. Standing afar off for the fear of torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in what? One hour is your judgment come. One hour. All you will see is the smoke. The smoke of that city. Now watch this. I told you that through civilization, this strategy of the devil has been masquerading itself. In ancient times, the kings had fraternity with all of these demons of darkness and all of that watch this when jesus came jesus came to bring us back into the allegiance to god are you getting what i'm saying but then from that time till now there is a contention and the contention is twofold number one an opportunity given to every man to individually declare his allegiance and then number two, to bring territories under the corporate allegiance of God. Are you seeing that now? So the first dimension is personal. That's what you call new birth. That's what you call salvation. 
a declaration that I choose. I have an option to choose between Babylon and this. I will show you how that many Christians suffer casualty because they claim they are born again, but they are still operating in the system of Babylon. Are you getting what I'm saying? And so Satan makes sure that the boss in the office, right, fraternizes with Babylon. He, he will not go to the devil directly. He will go to a harbalist. And they will say, just make sure this and that happens. And you are the boss. And now you come to work. A Christian. You now come to work and you are under intense pressure. Because the presence of that man wants to push you to compromise on your integrity and your allegiance. Are you seeing how Babylon works? So you graduate with first class and you hold your degree and you are happy. The moment you enter the labor market, they stop you. They say, not so. Who sent you? Whose allegiance are you? You say, anyone, I need a job. That's the point. That's the point. The devil leverages on your desperation to succeed. Are you getting me? And shuts the mouth of preachers from teaching that the kingdom of God too has a structure for your success. So in your desperation, Satan comes. He came after Jesus finished praying for 40 days. When a man finished praying, don't you need food? Praying and fasting. So he waits until that desperation is there. 29, 30, 31, 32. Your mother tells you, don't return to my house again if you will not bring a husband. And the devil now comes. Babylon, there is an easier way. Bow down to me and a rich man will show up now. And you will think he's play. The moment you bow down, here comes a rich man. Right? And then you come and you begin that fraternity. Satan uses your allegiance to him to mock God. You see that? Let me tell you something. The greatest insult you can give the devil is to stick to God regardless of what happens. I love you whether things go right or wrong and I'm ready to use your system no matter how slow it is. You see why it is important that preachers teach their congregation the kingdom way of doing everything. The kingdom way of doing everything. So you don't teach people come to church, pray in tongues, but go to your, your workplace and they just say, ah, they are sharing something. There's one five, five hundred thousand that does not have a reason why they are sharing it. And he said, this is my pocket. Just put my own fast. This is Babylon. Whether you, if, if nobody told you, I am telling you that is Babylon. So it uses different things. Mammon. It uses lust. It uses different skills. But it's still the same thing. Watch this. In our time, in our time right now, the name given to that devilish system, there is a name. The name is subtly, there's no time I would have, I planned playing a documentary, but we'll, we'll sleep here all night. If God grants us grace, maybe next week. There is the name given to the evolution of Babylon. It's called the New World Order, right? In the time of the kings right from the last one or two centuries ago it was called the illuminati that fraternity of darkness right i know many of you have heard about it and just laugh look up let me shock you let me tell you a few things that will surprise you they have controlled the media Walt disney belongs to them cnn belongs to them they control the information you hear. They control the movie you watch. It's a system. Are you getting what I'm saying now? They control the stock exchange market, Wall Street. They control everything, the governmental systems. They define our scope of civilization. And yet believers are there praying in tongues in church. And we do not understand that we are the ecclesia. The name given to the system that will take the authority of Jesus. And prove that darkness cannot prevail where there is light. Please are you getting what I'm saying? Very important. Don't say it does not concern you. 
don't say it does not concern you when you are in class and somebody looks at you and is frustrated by your passion from God and all of a sudden you see three carryovers you know you did well FFF welcome Babylon is at work are you getting what I'm telling you when a lecturer looks at you and says if you want to graduate you know what to do go and wait for me at the back of my office what is that the antichrist system masquerading itself now it's not even masquerading itself it's coming out openly a man looks at you and say look at your employment letter I tear it in your presence you go back and say Lord I love you anyhow God doesn't want that kind of prayer it's good to love him anyhow but the church must rise he says we are the city set on a hill we will keep begging when we remain poor and broke we keep consoling ourselves that don't worry the day Jesus will come he will wipe our tears he can wipe your tears now are you getting what I'm, I'm sharing with you the system right now little children watch cartoons and see right all kinds of 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 things that should not be shown children are so addicted not just because they want to watch there is a com they have mastered the mind don't forget they are receiving assistance from the realm of the spirit so little children love seeing blood they love violence you see a little doll baby right if they want me to buy this cup now they will give this cup heaps right this cup will have hips. It will say, use me. And you see the man rush, I want this one. Ten. Bring ten of this cup. Why? Because it is a system. It has been fabricated. It was so subtle. We didn't know when it has evolved. Are you getting what I'm saying right now? Seduction. The seduction. That's why it gives it the language of a fornicator. The same way a fornicator lures you into an unholy union that's what babylon is doing right now they determine everything everything they create the trends they do everything that happens they control our speakings our language right they tell you what to say they tell you what slang to say they tell you what film to watch they define what is civilization for you if you do not assume a particular mold you are not civilized and it mounts pressure on you and forces you to bend one time i i i think um i don't know where they took me to and it was time to eat and they brought all kinds of things i told them i said the work that i do if i use this utensils to eat i won't be satisfied get me a spoon i don't have time for for nonsense you bring all kinds of things i the bible says, he who does not walk should not eat that means he who walks You watch people in the restaurant sweating, pouring rice on themselves because they must use fork. Right? Cutting themselves up with knife. I must do it. My, I'm not saying you shouldn't be civilized. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm, I'm saying, you see, a system has brought you under pressure. Right? I saw one guy bab his hair and bab dollars. And I said, this guy is broke. He's poor. Now, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a religious person, trust me. But I'm saying it is the pressure. He probably watched the actor of a film or a musician with dollars or something on his head. And he said, I must become like that. The pressure of Babylon. Are you getting what I'm saying? There were times when our secondary school had decent teachers. You dress, you talk in, you look nice. Now you go and see the people teaching. The guy enters as if he came to pick papers. How are you students? You see that? And, 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 the, and the students watch that. This is the model. This is the mentor that they have to become. If we do not become apostolic and prophetic in our approach, there will be casualty in the decades that are coming. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is this kind of agenda that should govern things like politics. People ask me questions, I say, I, I don't like PDP, I don't like APC, I don't like anyone. All I know is whatever promotes God's agenda, I'm there. It's as simple as that. And we will force the agenda of God to happen in this nation. For sure. For sure. The church is alive. 
Don't you think the church is dead? Ask Ebola. The church is very alive. Very, very alive. We sent it back to hell where it came from. Hallelujah. There may be imperfections, but the church is marching. Let me tell you. Jesus is found where the church is. No matter what happens, the church in Nigeria is alive. We are the firstborn of God who will present to the nations true apostolic and prophetic Christianity before Christ returns. Yeah, that rejected stone. That, why do you think Boko Haram and the rest? It's not just about politics. They are being led by an influence they do not know. But the church will stamp them out. Next week, I'll be showing you what we can do because they've made the church look powerless that if you don't have it's not just about finance there is an anointing jesus christ took his power and gave that system are you getting what i'm saying he didn't just call one person and say you i give you if you like this guy I give him no he took his power the power that will crumble babylon and said my ecclesia take it i've given it to you but we do not know the scope of our use of that power is healing of cancers and this. Right? We do not know that we have the authority to take charge of territories and compel it to come to the alignment of the Christ. Let me tell you something. Days will come when things will happen in this nation. You will be surprised. You will wait and see tongue-talking Christian bankers. We will sack anybody who does not love God without apology look 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 watch this the members will be in our churches so we are the ones who will teach them and this big mouth it won't keep quiet my goodness my goodness that time is coming it's coming that's what you are becoming the bible says now are we the sons of god and it does not yet appear they don't know it god has shrouded us in a mystery when he's done with us we will prove to creation that Jesus did not tell a lie. A witness is one who claims that the claim of another is true. If, I, if you steal our money and I saw you, right? And we're in court. They will say, stand, hold your Bible, swear that it's nothing but the truth. The moment you finish, they say, did you see it? I say, I saw it. They say, prove it. I say, this is the picture. So the church is here to demonstrate that although we were not there at the cross, there is a spirit that was there and he's in us. And in partnership with that spirit, we will prove that he is the king of kings and the lord of lords. No longer allowing Babylon to kill our children. Huh? I wanted to cane one small boy one day. I just saw him. He just looked at one small girl who was running to go and kiss her. I wanted to call him, use two fingers and just whip him and say, who taught you? <laughs> Probably watch somebody do it house help relatives in the parlor all kinds of, 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 of TV right look church I want you to wake up that's why we call this series the emergence there is an emergence the bible says Obadiah 1 verse 21 it says saviors that's what he called them saviors shall arise brothers and sisters hear me Romans 8 verse 18 For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time Is not worthy to be compared There are people There are people sitting right here That death will not carry them It's not the issue of I shall not die You can't die The assignment compels God's integrity upon your life Are you getting what I'm saying? No, no, no Please believe what I'm telling you There is a reason why you should not die if you think it's just to keep being a liability to creation, you are in trouble. There is a way you become so relevant to the agenda of the king. And God gave us a sign. He said, when you begin to see darkness upon the earth, start rejoicing. It's time to arise. Are you not seeing what is happening in the earth? The meltdown. They've not seen anything. A heavy melt. Because the selfishness of man will never allow him carry out Satan's agenda. Somebody will betray somebody. They don't have love. They cannot love because love is shed abroad by the Holy Ghost. Love is not affection. Love is shed abroad. That character that can make you almost die to protect another, they don't have it. 
That's what happened to Boko Haram. They started killing everybody, all and sundry. When those who sponsored them started denying, they said, oh, you are denying us. Let's, everybody, you are our enemy. Hallelujah. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Nations will crumble. It has only started. You, the pride of kings will be humbled. Their equation is being interrupted by a hand they cannot see. Like Belshazzar, the handwriting on the wall, when it writes upon your government is over. You have been weighed in a balance and you have been found wanting. Many kings have, they've, they've, they've spoken like the beast. Their blasphemy has risen to heaven. Like the man who made the Titanic and vowed that even God cannot sing the Titanic and stood in awe when the Titanic sank. Only a fool will say in his heart, there is no God. There are people who have vowed and say, if you're, before your family will rise, me, I am the custodian of the oracles of this village. Watch God bring them down. We are here to stamp out nonsense. Listen, Jesus said, all hail. He said, all authority. The word is exousia. The capacity to stand in my office. All authority to unlock the heavens and the earth has been given to me. I give it to you. Please believe it. I give it to you. This is the mindset I carry when I pray for the sick. I know that they are, I take their sickness personal. Because this is about the kingdom of our father and what the devil is doing. It's not about what their village is doing. Kill yourselves there in your village. No. Hallelujah. So Satan has structured it well. He has marketed the gospel of prosperity subtly to the church. So that we remain poor and broke because the borrower is always slave to the lender. Right? He has marketed all kinds of things. So the attack is coming everywhere. Spiritually. Notice brothers and sisters. That our, our forefathers and grandfathers gave birth to 13 children. No CS. Huh? What they used to call the placenta of the baby we don't even know. Whether it's hot, cold, whether, whatever. They just caught that 13 times and nothing happened. But here a woman comes because of her allegiance to God. Something happens. They now start saying there's a fire, bro. That devil is a liar. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Yeah, break every chain, break every chain. Sing it one more time. There's an army rising up. You're rising up. There's an army rising up. Rising up. Rising up. Rising up. Rising up. To break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. So the goal of the antichrist system is total allegiance to satan as the source and the sustainer of all things full stop that's the one goal of the antichrist system to compel humanity to total allegiance to satan as the source and the sustainer by depending on your boss for your daily bread you are partnering with that there is an economic system of the kingdom that is bigger than your boss. But if you do not know and you have been taught that it's salary that will fund your assignment, you become a slave to that boss. Then he sleeps with you when he wants to sleep with you. Then he sacks you when he wants to sack you. But there is an army of apostolic billionaires. Not just careless money mongers. The secrets of the kingdom shown. We are paying the price now and the world is laughing. Like the ark of Noah, the spirit of Elijah is bringing us to that reality. You've not seen prosperity yet, brothers and sisters. 
wait until the army rises men whose wealth will be as equal as that of continents they will walk like gods upon the earth why should you beg for give me 35 dollars to air a program how much is it when a prostitute sleeps with a billionaire and becomes a millionaire the next day all these things are the speakings of the beast unto god they rise as a, a filthy incense to the heavens Are you hearing what I'm saying? So that's what is happening. Look at the graduates in Nigeria. One, one out of every ten graduates get a decent job in the first two years of graduation. That's the plan. Babylon at work. Babylon at work. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yet, when you teach the church economic empowerment, they mock you. They say you are being carnal, right? We do not know that the civilization of today moves upon the strength of economic empowerment. The person who has the resources dictate the rules. We are sick and tired of them doing every kind of thing. We will make our own programs. We don't have dull people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of you in your sleep. You see these things in dreams. You know that there is something about your life. It's beyond ABU, it's beyond Zaria. Some of you, God took you wherever and brought you here. God gave you admission with one taxi. It's not about jam, it's about an agenda. Hallelujah. I see this thing every day. As the nations crumble, I see it as a signal. God is saying, son, stand up. Stand up. Church, rise up. I call my bride, the firstborn of God, to arise. But the reason is because we have refused to pay attention to the things that empower us. Hallelujah. The, the chairman board of trustee of this ministry was, he was decorated a general last year. I said, that's right. Anybody that disturbs us will tell him. It's part of kingdom advancement. Gathered men of influence and shut the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The kingdom will promote the ideology of God through one word. It's called influence. 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 That's why we'll keep contending for greater anointing and greater grace. The devil has spoke blasphemy too much. Are you getting what I'm saying? The church has been mocked. They act Nigerian films and they act man of God on a demon and then the, he, he releases power in the name of Jesus and the demon holds the anointing and throws it on the ground come on now which one is that one there are all kinds of anointings which one which one did he hold and throw on the ground there is the one you get as talisman there is authentic apostolic power that Jesus which one did the haval take and throw on the ground see we don't understand these things bring money but it is the, the generation of man bowing to Satan and receiving money. Let me tell you, if you are poor, let me just announce to you that your poverty is partnering with Babylon. Listen to me. It's a serious issue. It's not the issue of car. No! You don't, you don't need to be a Christian to have car. Men who will shut the gates of darkness sack lecturers that trouble our ladies employ the ones that call upon the name of the lord next week i will show you the strategy i'm not just making noise i was trained in the wilderness of the spirit i'm not a, i'm not a stupid person just making noise there is a strategy lord you were higher than any other We will declare to the nations. Our God. Sing one more time. Say. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power. Hallelujah. We just returned from a conference in Kaduna. And while I was ministering yesterday, 
they just brought one mama you can see the way the devil had oppressed this woman they were dragging her to bring her out the son was almost crying and i said hold on we've not started ministering they were desperate why most probably because they've gone to a lot of churches with men of god making noise jesus can do this he is this i know he can do this put your faith to work the manifestation of the glory of God is a visible revelation of the power of God here and now. Here and now. The woman stood there. I was talking and I was just watching. I said, Mama, what is wrong? And they said, for five months, they've taken this woman to the hospital. They said, arthritis, she cannot walk. I, I said, that devil is a liar. All of a sudden, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw this innocent woman tied. I, from my head to her toe, I saw snakes. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. For this purpose, for this purpose, for that joblessness. The, every time you see a challenge, say for this purpose. For this purpose. They said you will not graduate for this purpose. They said no job will come for this purpose. Shake it, take a ba 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 ba. For this purpose, for this purpose, everybody in your family is an idol worshiper. But for this purpose, you came. God has taken you as an envoy to crumble Babylon, to crumble Babylon. It will happen. Forget about the pain of today. Hear me. Forget about the disappointment. I see men and women who will get married. Age two, your child is praying in tongues. Age two, a little boy, while you pray in tongues, he's praying. No, 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 no. Listen, we won't be fighting and beating our wives. It's over. We, by now, we know it's a spirit and we have authority against it. Men are not that bad, women are not that evil. Babylon masquerading itself. Gone are those days. I tell you, all things are past. God is doing something new in our time. God is working something powerful in this day. God is building a mighty army in our days. And he won't stop, he won't stop Till we look just like him He won't stop, hey, he won't stop Till the church looks like him He won't stop, he won't stop Till we look just like him God is raising mighty man in these days God is building a mighty army in his days. He won't stop, he won't stop till the church looks like him. He won't stop, hey, he won't stop till the church looks like him. Listen, next week I will show you the strategy on how this will happen. Don't you ever think you are little to make this thing happen? once god can find a man and find a people he will do mighty things he told jeremiah don't say i am young don't say i am a child i will put my my words in your mouth you will subdue you will tear down and you will rebuild hallelujah tonight i came to challenge you babylon is falling what you are seeing in the tv is falling the old wine has finished. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The church is rising. Watch this. Nigeria, I told you, I've shared with you already the prophetic agenda of God. But Nigeria as a continent, this platform is not the platform I will share some things with you that God has revealed to me. There are some things that if they don't happen this year, the hand of Satan has been broken in Nigeria forever till Christ comes. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a reason why you see darkness looming the, it is beyond humans it's an agenda it's the attacking of the firstborn of god but god is always one step ahead when you see the church pray and we speak don't let the devil fool you that nothing is happening there is much that is being done in the kingdom 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? When the door settles, you will see a victorious church. He said, I will build. I will supervise that this church stands. I will build my church. But the goal is to have as many people come into this alignment. Look at me. One man cannot do this alone. One church, one ministry cannot do this. It takes a people who will say, Lord, we understand. Lord, we have pledged our allegiance first and foremost. There are many of us here. Your stand with God is not straight. We don't even know where you stand. As occasion serves. When in Rome, behave like any other place that is not Zion is of the devil. It's as simple as that. For you to be part of this army, your allegiance must not be confused. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? The gates will ask you, my brother, it's not all about business. They will trap you in that oil company. Where do you stand? You must answer the question. Where do you stand? Where do you stand? When you declare where you stand, and then you have committed whatever government you pledge allegiance to. As for me, I've made a decision. Thank God I'm going to be a father from the womb you know how john the baptist was filled with the holy spirit <laughs> many men are not responsible if your father here god is speaking to you take charge there are many homes you pray when there's trouble if they don't pay the man three months i say okay children let's come together and pray say let's pray because what god the attack coming to this family and you don't take your place right watch this forget about the flamboyancy you see on tv babylon is falling it's a prophecy babylon is falling and your assignment right now at this level is to be an envoy of the kingdom go to your territory do you know how satan is ravaging our homes there are people in our homes with terminal diseases you are watching them take that authority and that anointing if nobody has told you you are anointed i'm telling you this night you are anointed do you know how things went bad in my family i had about i had about the things that surrounded my bed and i said satan you will pay for it ah you will pay for it Are you still afraid of the devil? Or should he begin to be afraid of you? I told you it's an old story. Satan is not the opposite of God. There was a day he was not existing. Satan has an exact creation date. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The strength of evil is deception. When you know where you stand and you understand what it takes to enforce that victory, he will stay clear of your life. Some of you get up in the morning, all kinds of pain. Just say, Kai, it's pain. Ah, is this not how my mother felt the other day? Is that what you should... Look, I told you, take this word. Whatever goes wrong in your life, say, for this purpose. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may what? Destroy. 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 The church is the representation of the victory of Christ. The church is the representation of the fulfillment of prophecy. The church is the hallmark, the symbol of the wisdom of God. And we cannot fail. There is a generation that must not fail. We are going to pray. Look, you must, you must tell God, I am available. I am available. Some of you, God is calling you from your slumber, your spiritual slumber. Ladies, God is calling you. Forget about that allergy and concentrate on God. Allergy gives you one million, you insulted God. God wants to make you a nation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Quit all of these carnal things and stay with God and watch him bless you. 
don't ever let any man fool you you know gone are the days where when you say you are going into ministry people just look at you and say hey you mean it as if this guy or you say i'm going to marry a man of god they say talk his grace is of it. Why are you going to talk like that? You marry a busy businessman and you are happy. I'm X, Y, Z. You know, they have, it's part of this antichrist system because the, the, the revelation they are trying to say is you are marrying a poor, broke man, right? Your job is just to be suffering. They, they imagine four legs of, of firewood trying to cook food for church. Must you think like that? Who taught you that? The kingdom of God is a prosperous kingdom. Let no man fool you. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's our year of the rain. The kingdom of God is a prosperous kingdom. He wants to give you the anointing and the influence it will take to legislate. But he first wants you to understand this system. Anytime you bow to anything or any principle that is not of God, realize that you are communicating your fraternity with Babylon. That becomes the basis. Your love for God and your passion to see his kingdom come becomes the constraint upon your life to run away from evil. Not the fear of Satan. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm not going to come and try to sleep with a lady now. Why? Not just because I'm afraid of Satan, but because I realize the significance of standing in my position to declare my love for God and my passion my contribution to see his kingdom come and that love constrains me are you getting what i'm saying that's why i preach i came back i came back to this town 12 12 midnight on the dot it was as if i was not seeing where my bed was but i said no problem i must prepare there are lives that we must sharpen because there is an agenda of god and then one one demon somewhere will go to call your name I pity the devil that calls my name in any covenant. Number one is that the fire that will come out from whatever they are invoking, that's not all. Two, the harpalists will die as a lesson that not everybody is touchable. My goodness, no matter how a madman is, he will not enter fire by mistake. There are, there are, there are, there are madmen and there are madmen. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Invoke nonsense. There are many times I'm about to travel. Somebody send a text. He says it's so accident. I say me. Hey, it's not. I'm not just bragging. I'm standing on a rock. Let this mind be in you. You have watched films where a boss will say, "I will come and kill you," and he will kill everybody helplessly. You have carried that mindset to walk with God. The believer is supernatural in every way. I want you to understand this brothers and sisters i've prayed for people with contagious diseases if i'm lying by now you would have known are you getting what i'm saying it's easy to stand and speak but what happens when you hug and talk to somebody with tuberculosis or somebody with a, a communicable disease i've been doing this for years my body is as healthy as a baby's body healthy as a baby's body there is the reality of another life that when it's at work in you it will turn you into a superhuman hallelujah rise up we are going to pray i want us to insist on some things in the spirit please take this prayer session seriously for i reckon that the sufferings of this present time it's not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. I'd like you to lift your voice and cry. And say, Lord, I declare, I pledge my eternal allegiance to you from today. There's no going back. There's no bending. Lift your voice and pray. You are the Lord of my life. There's no confusion about it. What shall separate us from the love of God? In the secret and in the open, I love you. I belong to your government. 
there's no confusion about it i belong to your government there's no confusion about it pray i compel my life to come under the influence of your government i compel my life to come under the influence of your government my thought comes under the influence of your government my words under the influence of your government Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear me. Look up. Let me speak to you. Whether you are coming from Plateau State or Kogi State or wherever, you are going to be, you declare, I've been called out of every tribe. Hear me? Every tongue. Listen, don't let yourself to be a victim of where you have come. You didn't choose it. Don't let anybody speak nonsense and say you came from Kogi State. You came from this as though there is a cause upon your life and there is no way out. Prophesy with violence in your spirit. I've been called out of every tribe, every tongue. I challenge every power that is not of God. Oh, I'm anointed. I carry the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire of the Holy Ghost as an envoy of power as an envoy of the kingdom as an ambassador as a representative called out of every cause called out of every covenant called out of every ordinance Pray. He maketh his angels winds and his ministers flames of fire. I have no business with the ordinances of the fathers, with the ordinances of witchcraft. I willingly, I choose this day that I serve the king. I choose this day that my allegiance is to Christ of him. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. You are creating a reaction in the realm of the spirit. Silent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Look at me. There are many of you, humanly speaking, you are seeing patterns in your family and around your life you know should not be. It's true that you have been saying you are in Christ, but the truth is that as it is right now, there are things you are seeing in your life that are speaking blasphemy to the Lord. You are going to pray. You know what it is. You are challenging Babylon first in your life and in your family. Call it by his name. And cause it by the God of heaven. Lift your voice and pray. Break those patterns. Come on. Break those patterns. That pattern of childlessness. I break it. I cause it by the God of heaven. That pattern of failure. That pattern of lust. That pattern of addiction that pattern of masturbation that pattern of immorality i curse you by the god of heaven i curse you by the name that is above every pray your way out pray your way out pray your way out way out 
I break the patterns. I of Jesus. I challenge the forces of darkness. Hey, I travel by the Spirit in the name of Jesus. The sun shines for my family. The sun shines for me. I cannot go down. No way. There is a spirit of God upon me. Call it by name. Call it by name. Call it by name. If thou shalt say to this mountain, if thou shalt say to this mountain, if thou shalt say, if thou shalt say, if thou shalt say, my protoscope command victory establish victory in pain establish victory in the name of Jesus break down the walls of witchcraft break down the walls of evil break down the walls of limitation you are an ambassador you carry a big God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with we stamp power and might. Sing it from your heart. It's a song of victory. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with I tell you, you will come out a champion. No power will keep you. yourselves into two you're going to release prophecies upon that person listen 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 the bible says where the word of a king is there is power where the word of a king is there is power hallelujah i like you to pray as if you are praying for your own brother as if you're praying for your sister prophesy Open the fountains of blessings. Open the fountains of grace. Come on now. Koinonia pray. I call you blessed. I strengthen your is your season of the rain. The glory of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. Prophesy from the depth of your heart. Call it forth. Even God who quickened the dead and calls for the things that be not as though they were. Prophesy. I call for that in your life. I, of light passion. I call it forth. I call it forth. Upon the dimension of wealth and abundance. Supernatural jobs. Open doors. New levels of revelation. New levels of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we pray, we shift things in the heavens. When we pray, we, we grant the angels access to enforce the counsel of the, of the Lord. Listen. We are going to pray. The election is by the corner. 
We are going to pray. The Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Zaria is our Jerusalem. We are going to speak to the borders of this city. We stay the hands of evil. The hands of bloodshed. You will not cross the circumference of this city. We hold the keys of this city. And we drive out every devil. Come on pray. Is your Jerusalem. There will be peace upon our walls. Peace upon our borders. Shalom Zaria. Shalom Zaria. We pray upon the borders of this city. The north to the south. We command peace. Shalom. Shalom. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. We drive out every power. We drive out every force. We take charge of the heavenlies. We take charge. No death. No bomb blast. No bloodshed. In the name of Jesus. The church is praying. The church is praying. The government of God. The institution that carries his authority is praying. We speak hallelujah now we are going to pray i feel sorry for those who say nigeria will divide they don't know the mystery of our creation go and read isaiah 18 when you see the representation of nigeria and isaiah 18 you know that no human entity has what it takes to break this nation are you ready to pray you're going to pray to every border first secure your family I'm not hearing bad news. It's, it's not. No, 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 no. Refuse it and pray. Spread the peace of the spirit across the length and breadth of this nation. Go ahead and pray. We legislate as ambassadors of the kingdom. We command it in the name of Jesus. In Abuja, in Kaduna, in Jos, in Makodi, in Kogi State. Potakot, we command let there be peace let there be peace let there be peace in our nation even in the forthcoming election let there be peace let there be peace by the mercy of God by the mercy of God remember your firstborn oh God Remember she that you died for. Remember your firstborn, oh God. For God and for God. We pray and we invoke the mercy of God upon our families. Frustrate the token of liars. Turn their wisdom backward. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to know that you're establishing things in the spirit. This is how kings reign. The Bible says, let it be done in the earth. In other words, compel compliance. Hallelujah. Compel compliance. Now we are going to pray. This is the season of the rain. Hallelujah. And you are going to speak over your life. Remember I told us that God is, God is changing the dimensions and the levels of people. You must say amen to it in your life. 
and you are going to pray there are all kinds of encumbrances that have mocked the integrity of God upon our lives it's time to challenge it right now you are going to speak whatever area mention it and speak if it's marriage say it it must happen if it's your finances pray the wisdom the strategy the grace lift your voice and pray from glory to glory Shalom you're welcome in this place Shalom Shalom Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, hey, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. And this is the confidence we have in him. That when we pray, he heareth us. It is within his power to grant us a request. In this time of recession, in this time of financial lack, you will have to give your way to a realm of unending wealth. It may take time, but let me tell you, the Bible says the righteous will flourish like a palm tree. Study the palm tree. It doesn't grow at once, but it's growing. But in one year, the palm tree will blossom. He said even in old age, they will be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. Is someone learning something? So do you see the reason? It's not just about demons and Satan. Many of us like the fact that if I call this lady now, I say, do you know that there is somebody who is tying your money? They say, yes, I've always known. Please, I've always known. As if you have been obeying the principles of the kingdom. You're not tithing, you're not giving. And in this era of the prophetic, many people have become gullible. Please don't criticize the prophetic. It is very important for the agenda of God. It's just that it must be balanced. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace. The third point, I spoke about number one, uh, not surrendering to the kingdom. Number two, ignorance. I just digressed a bit to talk about finances. Then number three, disobedience to kingdom principles. Different kingdom principles. Hallelujah. If I ask you a question, please just write it and look up. I have to run. If I ask you, what is your basis of believing you are going to live long in the kingdom? What are you going to tell me? The blood of Jesus or because Jesus died? What is, what is your confidence that you will celebrate Christmas in 2014. In this wickedness that we have, Boko Haram doing everything, what is your exemption? What are you standing on that exempts you? Are you seeing why I'm... There are principles, brothers and sisters. Longevity. Different people want to live long. I had to study for myself. I told myself, I said, oh boy, if you want to live long, you better find out what the Bible has put. And number one is honor to parents. He said, honor your father and your mother. Every time I want to travel, I'll call my mother and say, how are you? God bless you. And I know my journey is safe. For sure. Number two, he said, I shall not die, but live to declare. That means if you are not declaring her, I shall not die. There is an immunity that comes upon me because I'm an envoy advocating the agenda of the kingdom. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Number three, I said before you life and death, blessing and cursing, but I advise you choose life that you may live. I chose it. I chose it absolutely. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So it is on the strength of this revelation. You can say in the name of Jesus. I know. I know. Hallelujah. What is your scriptural basis of believing that you will live in hell? Just because you are bearing a Christian name? No. Brothers and sisters, no. Just because you went to school? There is a basis. There is a basis. Hallelujah. He said, I will let none of these diseases that came upon the Egyptians to come upon you. But there is a reason. He said, no inhabitant in Zion shall say, I am sick. He said, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body, that same spirit will quicken, revitalize, make alive. Hallelujah. Obedience. We must pay attention. He said, my son, pay attention to my words. Incline your ears to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your heart. Keep them in the midst from your mouth. Keep them in the midst of your heart. He said they are life, not to Christians, to those who care to find them and health to their flesh. Hallelujah. Let's hurry up. So that's the third reason why things don't go well with people. The fourth reason, which is most important, is demonic oppression. The Bible tells us that the whole world lies in wickedness. And I've said it again and again. Don't let anybody play church games with you and deceive you with suit. We live in a wicked world. The condition to be a prospective victim of wickedness is that you are born of a woman. As simple as that. You don't need to offend anybody. The whole world lieth in wickedness. We live in a very wicked world. Someone can look at you and vow and say, over my dead body, it will not be well with you. Ah, ah, they looked at Jesus Christ. What did he do? They sat down and held a meeting to kill him. And Jesus said, if they have done it unto me, they will do it to you. Hallelujah. That means you must learn how to keep the devil where he belongs. That's why he gave us power. Hallelujah. Psalm 66 verse 3. It says, how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power. Not through making noise and wearing suit. Through the greatness of your power will your enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. Many of us have been deceived. This is a nice world. Don't trouble Satan. Satan will not trouble you. And you just say, I'm not looking for anybody's trouble. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. The whole world lies in wickedness. After struggling for five years to get a job, you now get the job and somebody looks at you and says, I don't like you. You didn't do anything wrong. I just don't like you. And as long as I'm in this office, because for one position for promotion, there are 10 or 5 people qualified. Everybody is going to their own babalao and you are there strolling, believing because you, are, you have a Christian name. Brothers and sisters, please wake up. As we approach the coming of Christ, the fierceness of evil becomes stronger. And it is they that know their God. Daniel 11, 32. They that know their God. They that, not they that have heard about him. They that know their God shall be strong. You see all these people gathered here? It will take God opening your eyes to see the satanic plots to stop people from coming for this meeting. But it takes an authority. Oh, this is the part about the kingdom I like. I love the fact that our, the kingdom we live in is not some kingdom full of fear and timidity. It's a kingdom of power and authority. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I remember a woman came to me for counseling one time. When she was about, she got married newly. 
you know and 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 that was quite some decades ago and she couldn't have a child so she went to a stream somewhere you know and all kinds of things were done for her and they told her make sure you have a daughter and before that daughter gets married make sure you return her and the woman said you may have been dead by that time he said see my son and he pointed one small boy who was just playing around he said by that time this boy will now be the priest return her so that something will be done hallelujah now the lady graduated and the women advised the mother and say madam we know you are a christian but this world we are living in just quietly go who will know just go and settle this thing and come back there are many people under all kinds of yokes who have been made to believe that once you are born again everything is over brothers and sisters it is true that in christ the old is supposed to have gone but satan will not just release you at a platter of gold it will take enforcing what christ has done for him to let you go hallelujah and pharaoh refused to let them go after nine plagues although god had given the command pharaoh refused to let them go hallelujah and then in the book of exodus he said one more plague will i bring upon pharaoh and upon egypt after that he will let you go one more plague hallelujah i'm glad to announce to you tonight the devil must give up on you finally there are many women suffering barrenness many people suffering all kinds of sicknesses there are many of us we are sitting here laughing but nothing is working in our homes it's not like you are not the day you just announce in the family that there is a project that's the day everything will scatter let god bless the family with small resources everybody gets sick until the money finishes then they will become fine by themselves i was diagnosed i've shared my story some of you were born in nice families they took care of you the devil never oppressed you that's why you have not understood the implication i was diagnosed of a fungal infection i had no account of just appeared this head you are seeing was literally rotting and they told me hair will never grow on my head again i know what evil the that's why i will live every day one of my life's mission is to give hell a headache till i transit to celebrate with jesus christ mm. That my waking up every morning must be a nightmare to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. There was nothing. This sponge, this hard sponge you scrub the back of pot with, they used it to scrub my head. Blood was coming out. It was not out of wickedness. It was out of frustration. Oh, I know what wickedness looks like, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you. The students complained that I was irritating them in the dining hall. And so they stopped me. They banned me from going to the dining hall because I was irritating the students. When it's time for food, I will give somebody my plate and beg them to please help me and collect food. And I will stay alone. Ha! There is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain there was a season in my family people were dying like chickens look let me tell you something my grandfather for some of you who are around the north my grandfather they were the trustees and the founders of church of christ in nigeria i come from a, a lineage of missionaries but it did not solve the problem in my family are you getting my point all the first bonds I saw the i saw the pattern they became useless people either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it i what my father's elder brother died at a particular age range my father's younger brother died at that same time just thank god that by the time my father was getting around that range we had gotten the revelation look let me tell you 
Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother. And we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we we'll open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket, they just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. Hallelujah. Many families, let me tell you, are suffering this. Mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain. Just comes upon a man and a family. There are some of us here. You just went to the hospital for tests and they told you you have HIV. You have left, you, you lived a pure life. Hallelujah. Something has happened in the realm of the spirit. I remember somebody, I think it was here. He's on video. That he slept quietly. And in the night, somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said, this is HIV virus. Injected it into him and he woke up physically with HIV. I'm not scaring you. I'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend. Are you getting what I'm saying? Somebody suffers in school. You now finish school. You go and serve. You graduated with first class or two and five years down the line. There's no decent job. No decent job. You want a job. The manager is saying you know what to do. And now you want to keep your Christian integrity. But you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow. You now announce in your family that God is calling me to be a pastor. From that day your whole life is tied into pieces. Everything you do does not work. Brothers and sisters. I don't celebrate Satan and evil, but I'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now. But there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. It's in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus It's to break every chain Break every chain Hallelujah I shared with us the testimony Brothers and sisters If not that I saw this woman I would think it's a lie I've heard about it But I, I, was, to, I was to experience it for myself A woman who gave birth to a dead baby That came out half man, half monkey half man half monkey with hair if not that i was sitting face to face with this woman if i had another man of god say it i may join those saying this is a lie some exaggeration just to make the message look powerful i've seen all kinds of evil but in the name that is above all names there is an authority that must command the forces to bow see this is what happens to people and you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life are you seeing many of us are struggling you are trying to fight your health you are trying to fight this whereas there is a root problem if that problem is not dealt with you may be healed but it will appear as something else i hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree how do you make a tree healthy do you clean the leaves? 
you add fertilizer at the root how do you destroy a tree you deal with the root the bible says the righteous is like a palm tree is that true this is the mystery of total breakthrough you must see every man like a tree you waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once when you address the problem it's like somebody who is complaining of headache but the real issue is typhoid fever you can take panadol again and again you will receive temporary relief but tonight some things will be totally settled in the name of jesus christ you will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up then job opens up then your academic opens up and that's when you say goodness so this is it a dear lady of ours even while i was in abuja last week I, I met with her this lady had worked for four years very hard working lady she was here i remember that time is on video also one fair lady that came from abuja and i prayed for her this lady for four years she had been working no promotion no benefits no nothing every area of her life was grounded i prayed for this lady and she went back to abuja and her boss looked at her he said come you've been working in this place what has been done for you right now this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere when her friends heard about it they say it's because you are fine she says have i not been here four years with the same pretty face nothing changes by itself till you force it to change it will change one day is a dream if you force it it will change are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us you are standing outside students you are you are suffering things are not working people think you are dull but you are not dull you enter the exam hall you blank out and then you will do tutorials and be helping others when they are marking scripts your script gets missing the wickedness the bible says while men slept an enemy came and planted tears with the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people lumps fibroids barrenness cysts all kinds of nonsense all around until you know the might of god you will keep getting afraid of satan but when you know who god is you will know once and for all that this devil he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator who am i speaking to tonight is your season for real change you can see you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous you have done everything you have read every book you've knelt down for every man to greet them but no marriage something is wrong it even becomes a terrible situation when is the man that doesn't have a wife to marry and this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found what of the man hallelujah but the lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives listen many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families you know we believe in family in this place right your salvation is not complete until the members he said as for me and my house hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his genius were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day i got angry and we had to settle the issue tonight god will settle some family so please take what i'm saying seriously i'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray hallelujah there are some of you anytime somebody wants to bless you something will happen to that person and just scatter him somebody says i want to bless your family everything becomes grounded there are some of us who are in ministry you have done everything you know groundbreaking prophetic match round everything nothing is growing but jesus christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory 
Hallelujah. And in a few minutes, we have to pray before I begin to minister. Brothers and sisters, I want you to pray and say, Father, visit me. I didn't just come to watch others and clap. Hallelujah. The power of God is present to heal. No matter what the sickness is, no matter what the sickness is, believe. Is it cancer? Is it HIV? Is it fibroid? Is it genotype issue? No matter what it is. You are stranded in whatever area of your life. Please position yourself. Because God is about to do mighty things right now. No matter how far you are inside or outside, talk to the Lord. Don't be joking. This is about your destiny. This is your chance for a change of story. Say, Lord, I'm tired. I'm tired of clapping for others. Lord, visit me. I want to make progress in my life. But there are forces that tie me down. Lord, it's the season where you will increase my greatness. I'm tired of this terminal disease. Tired of this cancer. They've told me I have days to live. I'm tired of walking on a wheelchair. I'm tired of this blindness. Tired of this deafness. Tired of this sickle cell anemia. Jesus, you died and already paid the price. You paid the price already. Oh yes, Jesus paid the price with his blood. He paid the price already. It was paid in full. He paid the price for that cancer to live. He paid the price for that HIV to dry up. He paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful. He paid the price. He paid the price. Go ahead and pray. And say, Jesus, you have paid the price. Jesus, you have paid the price. For the deliverance of my family. We are tired of this hardship. It's not your will for us to continue in this hardship. And Lord, like Jacob, we hold on to you tonight. We will not let you go till you change our story. Come on, pray, Koinonia. We will not let you go. Those outside, are you praying? Lord, change my story. Academically, I'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again. Change my story. Change my story. You already paid the price. You already paid the price. Oh, hallelujah. He has paid the price. Hallelujah. He paid it with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the price. The price. The devil must let you go. The blood has been shed already. Jesus said it is finished. That cancer is finished. HIV is finished. The devil may not want to let you go. But you will enforce the word. The Bible says how forcible are right words. How forcible are right words. How forcible. Rise up on your feet everybody. And begin to blast in tongues. And say my time has come. My time has come. Oh God my time has come. Tonight you will visit me. As your blessing man. Let your eyes see me oh God. As your changing stories. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me oh God. That epilepsy must die tonight. That yoke of financial hardship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of God is in this place. I believe. Lord, I believe. Listen. 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 Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. The man who laid down at Bethesda, he'd been like that for 38 years. There is a way a situation has been so long in your life. Even when they are telling you God would change it, you say, Lord, change the rest. Tonight, do not leave any stone unturned. Are you getting my point? Whatever it is you're trusting God for, many of us left different states. Many of us left different local governments. I like you to pray and say, Lord, for this and that and that area of my life, he must give way to Yes, Lord, it must give way tonight. It must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Oh, she has Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere right now, right miracles. We see miracles, Lord. We see miracles right now. Hallelujah! Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you, there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God, my God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God right now. I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside, the power of God is falling outside. Activity in witches, in wizards. Right now, Satan, in Satan, go. Satan, Satan, go. Shabbat shalom. 
hands the devil must let you go tonight oh, lift your hands hallelujah I see a number of people inside and outside and I see chains all over you chains as you shout this name it's already happening to people right now as I speak as I shout that name Jesus when you shout it many of you will hear sounds of physical chains dropping are you ready now at the count of three one two three Jesus I give the chains. Those outside, lift your hand. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your hand. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. I call power. Now, I go I call power. I call I call Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 I can't delay. I can't delay. I can't delay. Samata, Iparata, Limato Paria Catoda, Sipa Pata, Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel. 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 Please, let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside. That guy is outside. You are wearing something like green. Greenish, like flowery something. Green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, 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 time, your time has come. Please stand up. Stand up. Let's save time. I give the chains. The chains falling. She's See, take a papa. 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 Take
Let her go now. You are a devil of darkness. Release her family now. Release her family now. Release her family now. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial, nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried, you have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! To break every chain. Break every chain. My brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you. Look at me will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this father let it be done in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing military uniform who is a soldier who is a soldier around you i'm seeing this i live in the barracks you live in a barrack because i'm seeing military uniform hallelujah god is going to help you Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah. Well. I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone? I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the curse. This, this is, I'm saying, this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens, look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free in the name of Jesus. Let her be free in the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Alléluia. Alléluia. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Alléluia. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this, down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hand. Oh, 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 oh. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every cause of marital delay, lift up people now. Now, 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 now. Every cause, bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Go for take it. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every act of witchcraft that has tied families we release you right now Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now. I cause that spirit. Go! Go! Out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right. That's the lady. In the name of Jesus. The power of God is coming upon her right now. Go! 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 Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
the Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains, the chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. It's tied. And this is like the destiny of this family. And they've done everything to tie it. But I release it right now. I release it by the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied take the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now be released now be released now be released now, be released now. every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft Go potetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
every chain break every chain to break every chain hallelujah who is salome there is a wild spirit in this lady's family this lady you are seeing let her go now this is benway state in the name of jesus release this family now release this family now hallelujah salome the meaning of your name in your language is like treasure treasure or something precious who is that like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome where's your mother she's at home where we need to pray god wants to give your family breakthrough out of her now out of her out out right now out out of her out bring them she parata barrigate bragate boxa. Niba so paria tabaria dos de caparacata. Ibra dos palia tabaco seca de bragadia. Reteste parata baco seca de leva. Sipana baco. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out, out, be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood of God. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles now you know we are bounded by time if we we're doing an afternoon program we can take so many things hallelujah so I want it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing it, it would have been easy now to just 
ask these people to testify to encourage us but we don't have all of that time now there are so many people there are people after this meeting now may return to certain places hallelujah please and please please and please we don't fake miracles in this place we don't we believe in the power of God I know that many people have come trusting God for healing and I know that some of us have come with our loved ones hallelujah praise God please I want us to be orderly in this place no fighting no nothing by the grace of God we're going to minister to everybody one by one hallelujah praise God so please and please I want you to cooperate with us hallelujah the worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick you came with someone sick or you are sick now is your time to walk up to the front come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle and make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request hallelujah please if it's someone that cannot stand maybe if there's a way protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ those of you standing lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people please pray please pray his presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer cases, whatever it is, genotype. Don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. His presence is His presence is to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate. And let's trust the miracle-working power. 
especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having deep. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, is yourself, is it myself? The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. Is pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Exactly. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, Imela, Jehovah, Jehovah, you done, done for me, me. what no one else will do. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. At this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at, look at this, look at this. Ah, 
Come on now, hold on, hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil on, knows celebrate. that I'm a winner. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I'm a winner. Dance to the shame of the, the spirit devil. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before. All right. Sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, you couldn't stand up. Help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. Let's when Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. That you can no longer conceive. Why? Because one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be begun? <laughs> Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. Bro. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. 
Sadia says that she's not here that way. Is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, oh, this kind God, oh, bless the me. Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a headache, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you. When they gave birth to this baby, this baby was looking like an angel. They were snapping the baby, right? Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you'll be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is saying amen. Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant. Give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. You will return with your miracle children. I will attend to everybody now. We'll be very, very fast so that we can save time. Worship team, please. My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro nane aje Israel. Aje Israel zin. She she and I aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission, Abuja. So say so take a few. Ya lady ni ya in South South. Say ya a dog without who do some just some duplication. So ka chile she the go fourth floor. So ya the shaka sa. So ka karba kudi a wajen she. Twenty December fourteen. Ya na pama a Israel. She ne ya sa na che. Am I naiki enzu? Hari enzu? Am I enzu? Look at Chinde, our Fadi, and Chebaza, you Bunganaba, but there you will be too bad, but there you take fear about. Ogasia Che to a chick about the treating dish, I do a la yaga machi, there you take fear, there you Mogana, there you rubutu. Sunaye so, Yenzungena rubutu, Yena Mogana, a Makofa de Fara Tefiaba. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ. All the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege Poche Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. 
stand up from that death bed now your hands will write your eyes will see your feet will walk every broken bone we mend it now thank you jesus mama you will return with a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you now get you on buyer hold on buying can make his office sometimes go your back come and get the kafa harian as well at the kafa they call it singing kashabi in Alsa. that's what rheumatism i'm going to pray for you we'll pray we'll soon get interpreters Alsa, baju anyone Every word. What's that your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's what? That's baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? You don't know what they are saying, just be just with them. Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountain. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I
release her right now. Release her every part of her body. start collecting the prayer requests very quickly start collecting the prayer requests very quickly
As I pray for you, go back, check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
praise the Lord. The Lord is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ, be made whole. In Jesus' name. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Look at this. Come on now. Koinonia celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that you walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
Breaking, breaking, whatever it is, wherever it is, 
If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray as Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Shele braka to la mane mang dosi prega la 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 boko so para bala braka la 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 ba dosi mbara la 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 boko so para ya da 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 baka shanda da braka la 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 da boko so baka da baka ya rata bala 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 Rata tapaya rava la brada la bade bala 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 in no se i kapari onde in do o pari ala kabao se i la baha re i kapa on se i kapa na kada li i no se i ma kong se i ne panda ma pre kong se prenda kong de i ri i pari on se i la ha ri no se i para i o se i la ka i la ha mi a dash ka i na tanda kong de mi e kong ka i na kanda ba ha ra kan se o with his eyes of mercy he answers our prayer speedily lord your grace i see the angels of god come like flash of light real fast 
bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like Hezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord and right before the prophet left the temple answers came the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the Lord brings healing aha thank you blessed Lord there's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father, God you are greater than our challenges, you are bigger than every problem we have, we ask you blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus, let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood speak in the name of Jesus, we cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus, we command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as i pray i want you to march forward you'll be the first i'm going to pray for there are people here right now others you've given your life to christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left i'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them god bless you as you come people are coming God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah people are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call 
but please we mean business this is very very serious god bless you our sister just join us very quickly say after me lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood for me tonight i make you my lord and savior i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i declare that i begin to make progress in my life i submit to the authority of jesus i denounce sin and satan from today i move forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus keep the hands lifted up father thank you these hands are lifted unto you they will never be put down in the name of jesus let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last thank you for this decision they are making today the powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death we command that they are set free from it in the name of jesus christ do wonders in their lives make mighty men and women out of them in the name of jesus christ we celebrate you we love you we honor you thank you for making this great decision now i'd like you to follow the ushers the people with blue and black hallelujah follow the gentleman this side just follow them they'll have your details and then we'll communicate to you celebrate them koinonia thank you so much everybody lift your hands please rise rise as we pray praise the lord by the way let me celebrate pastor pete rock's wife she's, she's been hiding hallelujah if you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow clap hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah please i'd like you to shout amen as we pray he said son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest and he said prophesy hallelujah praise the lord this is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny hallelujah lord we give you praise right now in the name that is above all names i pray every door that has been closed over anyone's life every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now every terminal disease in your body i command that it comes to an end now it comes to an end now it comes to an end now hallelujah the bible says and esther found favor before the king and the king said what shall i do to you even up to half of my kingdom i pray in the name that is above all names may an anointing for favor a real anointing with proofs may it come upon your life now receive favor now favor with god favor with man hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king whoever needs to send for you who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life i call them into your life now i call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living god destiny help us share the word of the lord i command divine connections in the name of jesus christ he said and thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about let me tell you the truth 
the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness ah huh? the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south god can take a man from a dunghill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones man i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finishers anointing receive the finishers anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now i command your exodus right now for those trusting god for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the lord told elijah go to the brook cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water i command supply right now by the favor of the lord god of israel let there be supplies hallelujah i pray for you the bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country he said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed lift up those hands in the name of jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results hallelujah 
and he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it when Balak told Balaam to curse Israel he said I have been commanded to bless this I have done and it cannot be reversed I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may your hands be blessed scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore there must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names i command restoration of all the years the kanka worm has eaten and the palma worm let there be restoration now hallelujah hallelujah the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you only with you your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked you see bomb blasts everywhere there's nowhere that looks safe again the only place of safety is the name of the lord for the bible says it is a tower a strong tower i declare anyone marked for death here or any family marked for death either by witchcraft bomb blast assassins or any kind of political wickedness the blood of jesus separates you from the spirit of death you shall not die you shall not die not by accident not by bomb blast not by terrorism in the name of jesus the bible says as for me and my house i prayed for you now i pray for your house in the name that is above all names whatever has mocked the god of israel in your house we change that report right now whatever has mocked the god of israel sarah said those who laugh at me have now laughed with me i declare we change the story of your family And his mother named him Jabez because she said I bore him in sorrow and Jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you Jesus I pray for you right now lift your hands let the empowerment of the holy ghost please lift your hands just i just have one minute there will be impartations right now the anointing of the spirit all kinds of gifts of the spirit take it now take it now take it now take it now take it receive it prophetic anointings apostolic anointings healing anointing take it take it take it everywhere inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place i command it to come back alive every dead word life i command it to come back alive now go and heal the sick go and cast out devils i call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven go and represent the value system of heaven go and be a light change people's situations speak over their lives hallelujah give jesus praise hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart 
that no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.